I showed two minutes of request yesterday and got near 40,000 likes. I'm gonna upload a 10 minute long Call of Duty video and get half of that. I wonder what everybody would have done if I made a 10 minute one. Honestly, yesterday, I mean, I had nothing planned. I was playing, I was gonna talk about shit and then some games didn't work and uh, just, yeah, we just played some UFC and it just passed some time and that's how the video came out. There was like three games in one video. Tried to play some MWR, did attempt to get on IW. I didn't show that though. Cause to be honest, even if I did show me getting on IW, I probably would have gotten a hundred more dislikes. Just to show a couple frames of the logo. Is he sniping with Jugger? not on please stop please stop you're doing it wrong why what are you doing back here why are you sitting there why are you doing that thing fucking melts this guy's back on the lmg back there again okay, this guy's sitting on the lmg again here yeah, we're gonna walk up behind him let's see if he notices Let, let's see oh he outsmarted me this time <gasps> So yesterday, or the day before that, I think it was the day before that now, right? We've had our first phase recruit in, uh, I don't know how long, like, I remember Keemstar joined phase for like a small amount of time, but like people didn't consider that a quote recruit, I, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Basically being pulled from, you know, the Call of Duty community anyway. But we've had our first recruit in a, a really, really long time, I actually don't have exact numbers here, year, two years, some shit. So we've had our first phase recruit in years, it was phase O, and he's actually an editor, I'm assuming just to like, you know, usually rosters for uh, Call of Duty would have a shit ton of players, they'd have a shit ton of editors and stuff just so they can like, like constantly pump out content and the community over time obviously with call of duty struggling over the past couple years this year also being a struggle as far as like growth and like views and all this other shit oh hold on wait we're going off quad feed i just need a few more five ons i'll be happy with the m40 clips and we can move to r700 yeah but anyway it used to be like a really competitive thing like uh you know years ago where like there was a bunch of like these smaller sniping teams that did really similar things to phase and even before phase was a thing before trick shotting became a thing optic was like the biggest sniping team a lot of people didn't even know that optic had a sniping team that's the crazy part to me they're like at the pinnacle of the sniping scene for the call of duty community everybody wanted to join optic and phase came along with this whole new concept of like trick shotting and everything and they just ended up blowing up and appealed to more people than just straight up sniping. And I remember FaZe getting a whole bunch of shit because they were just a trick shotting team. And that started a whole bunch of other trick shotting teams. And then they actually recruited snipers. So they became like a trick shotting and sniping team. And that became the norm. And the thing is, is that over the years since Call of Duty was like struggling, a lot of these smaller teams, it was a little bit more competitive back then as far as like views went and uh, people picking up this person from this team. And it was like some drama if this guy got recruited by this team from this guy that was on this team, like some lifetime movie type of shit. There was just all this underlying drama. Now, a lot of the drama has pretty much died off. It's just like a bunch of like Twitter bickering back and forth about who has more followers and shit. Before it actually at least had a little bit of substance. Now, not so much. And I mean, to be fair, I don't miss that at all not the competitive aspect just the you know all the drama and shit it's pretty you know it's pretty mellow you just got some people that are talking shit other people that just don't talk shit the usual it's not as toxic anymore unless i've blocked all the people that are on twitter that are constantly talking shit but even then when they're talking shit and they're making fun of each other for being in certain teams i was in darth after their like big glory days and i was always made fun of for being in darth same thing that happened with the tk sniping team nobody in the team was like super super good standout ish i think the only team that i wasn't made fun of for being in, i even get made fun of for being in phase but like it's not seen the same way anymore i think that yeah i think the only team that i didn't get made fun of for being in was cure the fuck is wrong with my controller my gun is shooting and i'm hitting triangle that's it what the fuck look i'm not touching any of the triggers i'm hitting triangle triangle that's it anyway yeah there used to be a bunch of smaller teams they had like a whole bunch of players like a roster of at least like 20 players or so some teams were a little bit more exclusive and people like that and other teams would get made fun of for having like really big rosters and they would produce like really great team tajas on a normal basis but they're just like that's because you have a roster of like 80 fucking people people would just get made fun of for just like the smallest most dumbest shit so there would be multiple editors a lot of players and stuff lots of trick shotters lots of snipers lots of shit and with phase as you guys know over the past couple years really the main like uh you know Know, players for the team it's only been like 10 to 15 players and it's like way more exclusive and barker has basically made every single major team taj that has gone up but now we recruited owen who is another editor that's going to help uh barker out i'm assuming uh, so barker doesn't have the entire load of everything that was the original point of like people like you know recruiting full rosters of editors and shit just so one editor didn't have like this huge workload but that was also when teams uploaded way more so i'm not really sure it looks like barker has picked out three editors to uh you know edit things with him the first one was revealed which is 
because oh and, and then two more they were like posting like these screenshots of like these little teasers and stuff Braddy was tweeting him phase was tweeting him barker was tweeting him the way that they introduced owen his first edit in phase went up on phase clan so obviously he knew he was in he just had to wait to you know announce it oh man that must have been so difficult i remember how difficult it was for me to actually before i announced it like to twitter and youtube and all that shit oh it was so hard to not say anything not even to my friends because i know they tweet some shit about oh i know some juicy shit it was a really big deal back then and now it's gotten you know a lot less competitive a lot of these teams have died off and stuff or they've just you know uploaded less you know just kept the team name there down i mean the call of duty in general the whole call of duty effect on top of phase not recruiting people because the community is like extremely dependent on phase which was like i already talked about this before it's like really fucking weird i already said this like you don't need phase to grow i got the thirty thousand without even being in phase okay you can grow without it so with owen getting recruited and actually like it's a legit thing like somebody actually got recruited and there's two more uh editors being recruited to help barker out obviously people are speculating like hey if we need more editors that means you're probably going to be picking up new players and that's where the whole phase five uh, you know situation comes in where they're talking about having it and all this other shit so it is kind of like you know refresh the community a little bit people actually feel like they have something to work towards even though they could have just worked towards you know growing their channels but again everybody just wants to think that phase is the center of everything it's not wrong for me to say that like it's just fucking weird because i know all of you guys are capable of growing without it i'm just saying joining teams is not the only way i have insider info and shit because obviously i'm in the team and, and i'm friends with the guy who's content leader for the channel spratty i know shit i'm not gonna say anything but i did tell spratty i was like look if you're gonna recruit a player and it's somebody that i really wanted in the team okay please just, just let me recruit them. Let me do this. Because it used to be a thing where people would let, like, you know, other members of the team throw out the question, like, hey, you want to join FaZe? And no, that doesn't mean you have to pick up your vlogging camera or do some sort of ghost hunting or do workout videos or, you know, be a normal human being outside of playing Call of Duty because everybody thinks these jokes are fucking funny. They're not! How to join FaZe. Make a video 10 minutes, one second, and then vlog the rest of your boring life. You do that. I can't wait to see you join the team. You can tell I've read too many comments recently. I'm so triggered. I mean, holy shit. Oh, no, 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 no. If you use last stand, you're fucking blacklisted. Let me find you. I'll write your name down in the notepad. Has a last stand class. I don't give a shit if you hit 26 songs for your response. Uh, mm, 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 uh, it's not a good day to play. Anyway, yeah, my most recent videos are popping up on the screen here. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. Later.